There they are, folks, we're out for the uh, the Sunday stroll and uh, we're just going to see if we can get to a little building that we've seen on a map. Uh, it's been there a long time and just see if we can get close to it and see what we can find. This is actually close to the old BOCM site that uh, we covered in last week's video which is just over there and today we're going to try and head to this little building over here and see what we can find One, two, three, four and there's one in that field there, and we're not sure what they are, but they're made out of brick. Oh, so that the one. Oh, six. yeah, six. I wonder if it was something to do with the mill. Did you have underground things? Maybe. Is that one of the little step ups, is it? Yeah, I'm not I'm sure what that is. Seven. Oh, yeah. And I'm pretty sure it was in that area there, and possibly maybe that's one of the old buildings where the shipyard used to be at Selby. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Not sure what that building is. It has been on the some of the very early maps, so we thought we'll just see if we can give it a look. Is it accessible or is it a dike? It's a dike. Okay then, let's just... Uh, it looks sealed or whatever it is. Yeah, it's handy. This must be something to do with water. Yeah, there's water down there. Water down there. It must be. It's definitely old. That must be some kind of pumping house then. Can you pump that? Yeah. Nice just smelly water. Yeah, it's like sewage. Yeah. So what's all my sewage system then? I need to check if it's ah. there is tunnels. Yeah, there's definitely a tunnel down there. Oh, oh, wait, it's the well, the fact they lead to this building and they go across the field that way mm. and they obviously come across the field that way it must be, it must be a pumping house. Mm. Not that it says anything on the map. You can get see inside. That does look quite deep to be fair. I mean, you can also chuck a stone in it. I don't know, a little bit to see in there. I wonder. I think 
being picked out of them. Well, that's the mystery of the building solved. Looks like it was sewerage. Now, I can see a little structure over there. So let's go take a look. See what else we can find while we're out and about. So yeah, that's possibly the old site of the old shipyard there. And that's the River Ouse, which goes along and goes into Selby and then comes back round and goes across that way. Heads towards York. Right, moving on. Let's see what else we can find. See if there's anything lurking in the bushes. So we're just heading back up to the BOCM site and we're going to take a look on the, uh, the left hand side of the road. Now there were some buildings on this side which I do have a couple of photographs of and they were more further that way. So let's see if we can actually get through the brambles and see if there's anything left. Uh huh. Railway crossing again. Tracks on the road. And of course some brilliant British summer weather. Puddles. Puddles. Yep. Lots of them. Small ponds. So, which way do the tracks go? They all go. Mm. Oh, so they probably do head this way. Mm. Oh. To the right, but yeah. Well, people foresting for the berries. Once a busy site, folks. Let's see what we can uh, see. I'd say that's an original fence. Just there. People going to Hull. Now this must be where the tracks came through. We've got an original light just there. And something on a stick there. Side. It is. And the blood just there. Yeah. I wonder if we can get a bit further that way. Hmm. Not sure what photos I've got of on here, but there was an overhead part coming from the other side of the railway. Seems to have found some old road to walk on here. And that'll have been the tracked area. Where those brambles are. Quite a bit of noise. Yeah, that's the uh, flour mill. I thought the wall from this had like a little white. Mm. <laughs> This is where the gantry came across. This bit here and there. And if you can just see through the bushes, you see up there there's like a, a high bit. That little bit melted. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a better shot of that folks. There.
So as you can see it came across from there and I wouldn't be surprised if that's maybe one of the uh, steel supports it stood up on. Could be. In around the right place. Now that conveyor system actually goes right across to the river and uh, I'll put some photographs in of how it was back in the day. Back on some original road there. Big pile of rubble. Yeah. Yeah. Probably will. Oh look, tiles again. Yeah, nice tiled floor. Yeah, I could do the kitchen floor with these. Not sure what this room was. I know one building I think was known as the pattern room. And they used to make like the patterns for making moulds and things. They, they made a lot of things on site. Um, but I really don't know which was what and where. I mean, like I say, we have a few photographs but... There maybe was, oh, it was holding something up. Yeah. And this is a big pile of rubble here, so this must have been a, the bigger building. Yeah. Not much left. Those trees have been here a long time folks and I do remember in a patch of trees in, in this area there are several uh, contained a wooden shed with a big circular saw I was just wondering if we could actually see into there and see if, it's, if it was in this bit What could possibly go wrong, folks? That is true. Oh, look, there was something in here. Now just looking at what was some kind of shaft with a cam on it. How odd. That was a shed. 
that was what then? was a shed <laughs> I don't believe it golden gem found a golden gem Golden gems, folks. Are the smaller ones, isn't it? No, that. That's what? one of the fleet. Oh, look. A few of them have come here to die. If we would get all the ties, you could take them you could remake one, really. Yeah. Golden gems. Hiding in the trees. This, uh, some might be asbestos, and perhaps it's probably all asbestos. Yep. That's no big deal. So there's definitely some kind of structure here. Proper little dumping ground. Timbers. Lots of old timbers. I'm guessing that was some kind of shed. This? No, sure. Yeah, we can probably find some old photos of this area, which might give some clues to uh, exactly what was here. Yeah, the shed's definitely not happy. Uh, a bed. It could be. I'm still surprised at those trolleys. I really am. The reason for looking in here was actually that uh, I'd heard the old saw wheel was still in here, but can't see it. Here's a possibility. Hey, look! Somebody stacks up a load of the for the fence. Yeah. There's all sorts of things dotted about. Yeah, that's uh, that was something. That was definitely a thing. I think that's a sleeper. Well, it is now, but look at the big metal fixing on it. So maybe there was two sleepers. In fact, that is metal. Huh. And that, yeah. yeah. So I wonder if it was. I wonder if this is where the, the circular saw was. Maybe somebody's had away with the motor. Yeah, everything's a bit soggy. Yeah, no, I'm not worrying about the asbestos, that's for certain. What a strange little place. Now yeah, look, railway sleepers with the thing is from to sit on for the track to sit on. Saddles have a Look, there's one there. I'm going to presume this was a dog ball or something. Might well have been one of the workers. Yeah, what a cool little find. However, I'm getting bit to death now. Yeah, that was another one. So I think we'll uh, find our way back out. Where the side? I can't remember now. I feel disorientated. What's happening? It's all there, I think.
What do you reckon this was, folks? I mean, you can just pull that out, can't you? I wonder what that was. Now growing in the tree. Yeah, it's actually in it, isn't it? Yeah. I'm mad. Oh, you must be pretty... Uh... I know what that is. With the spring on it and the little coupling. That's off one of those trolleys. Yeah. They were fitted onto the back of them. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Huh? The old fencing, there's a piece of steel there. And that piece of steel bends around there oh. and it grows through the tree. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Hmm. Might not be an alternate route out, but I have just spotted what looks like the old gateway. Is that a railway track? I thought it was. Yeah. And guess what? Another trolley. Let me get through this without breaking my neck. I'll do it again. This fence there. <laughs> well, we only need to get through to that bit anyway, don't we? Yeah, so. But yeah, folks, we can see there that is another one of those trolleys. It's upside down, I think. Yeah, that thing could be about 100 years old. And it's just been like yeah. that. I wonder if they, that was an original gate then. Because a lot of that fencing around there where it went through the tree mm. had that same metal strip. Yeah. yeah. Right, we're gonna uh, make our way through this. This well trodden path. Yep. And we're back in the uh, open air again. Yeah, got a bit of a brick wall there. Uh. I'm not sure what was here. Yeah, I think it. it could, Well, I'm just wondering if this part was walled in because there were, on some of the pictures you can see some like storage tanks, around storage tanks. That was maybe here and you always have like a wall around tanks just in case they um, dribble. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> well, it's directly opposite where the thing came across the track so we can have a look on a picture and see. Get another footprint. Is this a bit of road or was it a building? A bit hard to tell. Maybe we have to get a few uh, photographs up of this as it was in the day and uh, you decide where, where we are. Well folks, it's starting to rain, so we're going to kind of make our way back in the direction of the car via these little paths. See if we can find anything else. I guess nature oh, nature always wins. Always. Uh, do we go down this rabbit run? 
Yeah, because the road's just there. So, yeah. I would just like to say a big thank you to all my subscribers because we've just uh, just broken the 1500 barrier now and uh, yeah I'd just like to thank you all all for doing it and if you're one of the ones I've stuck by me from the start thank you very much they have tablets for it there's a lot of bramble suggesting a lot of rubble So I think we are going to have to have a, a trek back in winter. Let's see if we can find any more golden gems. Some of these trees have definitely been here a while. Especially that big one there, yeah. Well folks, that's it for this Sunday's little uh, mooch around. Glad you joined us. Uh, I'm going to go home and get some, uh, something to eat. Maybe bangers and mash. Till next time, catch you soon.